Her son brought a school, a gun to school in his backpack, and today his mother was in court. And Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Marcy Cipriani was there. Marcy, this is actually the first time we're hearing from her, isn't that right? Yeah, Wendy, I had a chance to talk to Stephanie Roth outside the magistrate's office as she was awaiting her preliminary hearing, and she was quite emotional. In fact, she started to cry as she told me her son was punished for what she believes was doing the right thing. Anything that she can do to help herself out here, she's going to do. Standing outside the courtroom, Stephanie Roth tells me she is taking responsibility for her role that put a gun in the hallways of Ramsey Elementary. She's already done inpatient rehab and she's going to be doing parenting classes. Roth's attorney says she is working hard to get her son back, who has been living with relatives since she was charged. Roth tells me she's devastated at how this has hurt her six year old son. Police say the kindergartner came to school with a gun in his backpack. When he found it and turned it in, his mother was arrested. I think a lot of people forget, you know, she's being painted as this awful, awful person, this awful parent, but she raised a child who did the, who immediately did the right thing. He didn't, you know, show the gun off to kids. He picked that gun up and he took it right to his teacher and said, I don't know how it got here, you take it. So I think something should be said for a child that knows right from wrong. Roth tells me that she allowed friends into her home the night before and that her son's backpack was near where they were sitting. Court papers say that Roth admitted those men carry guns, and she fears one of their weapons ended up in her little boy's backpack without her knowing. Roth tells me that after her six year old reported the gun, he wasn't allowed to finish the school year with his class at Ramsey or participate in kindergarten graduation, all because of what she calls a terrible mistake. Well, it's still very upsetting. Uh, you know, she doesn't have her child, so it's, the, whole, the whole situation is very upsetting, but we're hopeful that we're going to get a good outcome. Roth waived her preliminary hearing today. She's been charged with recklessly endangering another person as well as endangering the welfare of a child. Her trial date has not been set. Live in Monroeville, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.